So the High Rise program came about um, in partnership between the Victoria Police and the club. Uh, they wanted to divert some high risk um, sort of behaviour that the kids were demonstrating from the high rise apartments. And so one strategy that the, the partnership came up with was to, to provide them some, some sort of sporting activities to keep them engaged, to keep them involved in the community um, rather than sort of left to their own devices. So that's kind of how it got about. Carlton Primary School is at the foot of the high rise estates um, complex and that estates, the, the people that live in those estates are primarily from uh, the Horn of Africa, so newly arrived refugees. Um, and I suppose a part of what we're trying to do as well is to help assimilate that group and help them feel welcome um, to the country and to feel welcome to the community. And so if we can extend a hand out um, and hopefully uh, get them engaged and, and provide them some education about what it's like to be in Australia, then hopefully that will enable them to feel more comfortable in the community and then grow from there. So this is the second year we've done it. Um, it's evolved a little bit. Last year it was primarily just to keep them engaged, like I said, um, to keep them doing something, to keep their time occupied and something um, a little bit more constructive with their time. It was mainly just to have fun, hang out, kick the footy around. It wasn't really um, structured in terms of the clinics that we were providing them. Uh, this year it's really evolved, so we're, um, we're planning on really growing the, the program a lot um, and involved in that there's um, some mentoring. Um, as well as trying to engage the whole school community as well um, rather than just some specific age groups. Uh, so the, the, pretty much the whole high-rise estates we're planning on getting involved um, and growing the program to involve not just footy clinics but also a whole lot of other things. So Nick's obviously passionate about working with young people. He's, uh, he's fantastic with the kids at Calvin Primary School and they don't see Nick as a footballer, they see him as a fantastic role model and that's the, that's the reason why they spend love spending time with him. Yeah, they're full of energy. I mean, they love it. Uh, they're, they're, always, um, they're always up for, for playing, so yeah, there's, there's plenty of fun. I think it's really important for the AFL to be involved heavily in the community around them because they have a huge number of resources at their disposal, um, but also they provide um, great opportunities for exposure, like multicultural around, um, and that exposure um, you know, can really bring light to an area of the community that needs more attention and, and I think um, Carlton's trying to play its part um, at the estates that are really on its doorstep and um, yeah, it'd be great if, if all um, clubs around the country were able to do a similar sort of thing and then all of a sudden, you know, the, the impact that we're having on the community is a whole, a whole lot greater.